With so much going on well below the surface, it's easy to forget that the oceans are teeming with life. In fact, 94% of life is aquatic, according to the USA Science and Engineering Festival. That means those of us who live on land are part of a very, very small minority. Too much sunlight can damage the algae that lives inside coral in shallow water. To protect the algae, which are a main source of sustenance for the coral, the corals fluoresce. This creates protein that acts as a sort of sunscreen for the algae. Did you know that there's enough gold in the ocean for us each to have nine pounds of it? There's around 20 million tons of gold dispersed throughout the ocean. It is, however, diluted pretty much to a pulp. Its concentration is only a few parts per trillion, according to the National Ocean Service. The ocean floor also has undissolved gold embedded in it, but it's not cost-effective to mine it. However, if the ocean's gold were equally distributed among every person on Earth, we'd each receive nine pounds of gold. Did you know that there's an ice sheet larger than the continental United States? Just two vestiges of ice remain from our planet's last ice age, the Greenland ice sheet and the Antarctic ice sheet. The latter of the two is staggering in size, clocking in at 5.4 million square miles, according to the National Snow and Ice Data Center. It's roughly the size of the continental United States and Mexico combined. It turns out humans aren't the only creatures in need of a winter vacation. In 2002, scientists discovered an area in a remote part of the Pacific Ocean, partway between Baja, California, and Hawaii, where typically coastal great white sharks will migrate to in the winter. The scientists named the spot the White Shark Cafe, and some sharks hang around the area for months before heading back to the coast for warmer weather. The longest mountain range above water is the Andes, which is about 4,300 miles long. The actual longest mountain range on Earth, however, is the Mid-Oceanic Ridge, which makes between all continents and cross land at about 40,390 miles long. At its widest point, from Indonesia all the way to Colombia, the Pacific Ocean is wider than the moon by quite a lot. This expansive ocean is 12,300 miles across. Which is more than five times the diameter of the moon. In the modern extent, which is 35 miles, it's 102 feet below the surface, which includes the deep.